Hey y'all, what's up? And welcome back to my channel. I just got done filming this look. This is a very dramatic, navy, smoky eye. So if you have that special night with your guy, girls night, or even going to hang out at a party, this is the look for you. But who am I kidding? I would totally rock this to the grocery store. Yeah, that's me. I'm that girl. <laughs> but yeah, if you enjoy these type of looks, let me know down below. And if you have any requests, I would also like to know that as well. So thanks for watching. right in. I'm starting by setting my eyelid with the eyeshadow primer. That way the shadows will last all day and all night. I've already done my brows and I will be doing a brow routine in the near future. So now I'm using Saddle by MAC just to warm up my crease area and so that the other shadows can transition well. Then I'm going in with the Lorac Pro 2 palette. I'm using that light brown shadow to also warm up the crease. Then I'm using the Vice 4 palette in the color Bitter, just to add a little bit of dimension to the crease as well. Now back with the Pro palette, I'm using the color Navy. As you can see, the shadow was a little bit hard for me to blend. I kept trying to go over it a few times, but it was just so hard to blend out. I even tried to switch my brush just to see if that was the issue, but as you can see, it was still a bit patchy. Then I went back in with the color Bitter, just to try to blend that out a little bit more. So then I decided to try a different navy color. This one is from the Vice 4 palette in the color Deadbeat. Beautiful creamy shade, it completely saved the day. It's very easy to blend and it's very shimmery. And you can see the difference between both of the eyes. And I'm just packing that all over my lid. Then just to add a little bit of more dimension, I'm fix plusing my brush just so that I can get that foiled shadow look. Going back in with light brown just to make sure everything is blended. Then I decided that I wanted just a little bit more shimmer. So I went in with another shade from the palette. This one's called Pro Bar. 
and this is actually unnecessary guys because I truly like the look without this added but I just want it to be a little bit more extra and add a little bit more shimmer I'm just highlighting my brow bone with the same shade that we set the primer with any neutral shade Then I decided to add glitter. If we're gonna do it, let's do it right. So I'm using the NYX Crystal Liner just to add a little bit more bedazzle to this look. Add a few coats of mascara and then popped on my lashes. little party break now we're going on to foundations I made a foundation cocktail with studio fix fluid and pro Longwear. in both shades I'm in NC 45 I'm mixing them just so I can get a little bit more coverage as well as to stay matte throughout the day because both of these are mattifying foundations Now I'm using the highlighter pen from MAC and Peach Luster to cancel out any darkness. After blending that out, I did take a little bit more foundation on my brush just to give an even layer to the skin. Now I'm going in with my concealer. This is the Pro Long Wear Concealer from MAC in shade NC42. I'm highlighting every part of my face that I want to bring forth light. I am now setting that with Ben Nye's Banana Powder. Then I'm setting the rest of my face with Max Natural Skin Finish in Dark. I'm going to contour, mixing those two shades. Don't forget to wipe away the excess powder from where we set our concealer. Now on to blush. Today I used the BH Cosmetics Blush Palette. I mixed those two shades. On to highlighting, I use Max Luster Drops first, just to give me a base for my highlight. Then I went on top with Becca's Cosmetics Highlighter in Champagne Pop. Beautiful. And going right on top of that concealer. Then blending it all out with the MAC 188 brush.
Now back to eyes. I'm just replicating everything that we did on the upper lid. Then I went in with a definer brush. I'm putting this blue shade that be all over my bottom lash line, but I'm actually dragging it a little further out at the bottom just to give that cat eye look. I did do this a couple of times just because I wanted this to be very intense. Be sure to take your time with this step just because it does take a little a bit of practice. And the more that I'm going over it, you can really see that the tail of the cat eye is really becoming more defined. Now I'm just blending it out so I won't have any harsh lines. Added that neutral highlight shade in the inner tear duct. Added some bottom mascara. Don't forget to do that guys because the bottom lash mascara is what's going to make the eyeshadow look pop. Now on to lips. I'm using Max Cork Lip Pencil. Then on top, I'm using Dose of Colors Lip Gloss. Love this gloss. It's like this coral shade with gold reflex. Setting my brows with Anastasia's Brow Gel. And last but not least, I'm setting my entire face with Urban Decay's D Slick Setting Spray. And the look is done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.